Alright, so now we're going to work on the, uh, the draw map. Actually, before we do that, we're going to make the player class because we need the player class to then make the other the, the draw map. So we call this actors. Actors are just anything that moves about on the screen. Class, cut player. Okay, so in the player class, what we want to do is we need to get our using statements for a start. We need framework, input, graphics, and content. Make it a public class. We want to declare the player texture. Just call texture. Declare the player positions. That's right, I said positions. And that's because the, the player has a position in map in map space and on screen space, so therefore it needs to have two positions. Declare the collision rectangle, and I'm just going to create the constructor. And we need to pass in a content manager called content. and a vector2 and we'll call that client bounce and that's going to be the screen size obviously uh, so we want to load the player texture then we want to set the player's draw position comment there. So basically <coughs> what we want to do is get half the half the clamp bounds, half the texture, width and height, set that as the X and Y in the draw position. So basically we're drawing the player directly in the middle of the screen. So now we're gonna make the update function. So doesn't need any Anything there, and okay, so we're going to get some input from the user. So we get the keyboard state. If we're pressing up, then we're moving the Y position. Well, we're lowering the Y position because the the top the zero zero is in the top left hand corner. So therefore, that's down. If it's down, then we're increasing the Y position. If it's left, we're decreasing the X position. And if it's right, we're increasing the X position. We're only just doing it by 5. You should, you should really set that as a variable name. We shouldn't have magic numbers floating about like this. But because this is just a simple tutorial, you could change it all yourself anyway. So this is just for demonstration purposes. So now we're going to get the collision rectangle. Actually, I'll just copy that over this typing on screen. So the idea is we update the collision rectangle and that's at position dot x, the actual position dot x, not the y position not the draw position. Uh, cast it to an integer. Cast the position the y position to an integer, then texture dot width, texture dot height. You can adjust that if you want it to be a little bit off. If you've got some um, free space on the texture or anything like that. And you might need to offset it slightly. Okay. So just want to quickly go over to this and over to the game one class. Make the sprite patch public static, as I always do. Okay. So in the draw position, so we're going to draw the player, the pair. Draw the pair. Okay, so game one dot sprite batch dot draw texture oh draw position sorry draw position and color dot white. It's good enough for me. So we'll just check that everything compiles 
and it does as it should that's what might have some problems so now we're going to create the draw for the um, level class so we'll, well, we'll call it draw map okay so actors dot player we want to pass in the player because we need the player position to find how much the map should be offset if we didn't have that there's no way we could possibly know how the player is which way the, the player is in relation to the map we need to know so we're going to get the camera coordinates which is just an, the draw offset so that's how much we're scrolling up and down on the map how, what, where our tile should start to draw so what we do here is set draw offset dot x to player position dot x over tile or over the tile width minus player dot draw position dot x divided by the tile width and the same on on the y draw offset dot y equals player position dot y over tile height uh, minus player dot posi draw position dot y over tile height so pretty much this um, gets the actual player position and updates where we should start drawing the map in screen space so we want to put our draw in a, a big try and catch console that right line you know there's a problem drawing the map It's always nice to have a reference for, for that. So, what we want to do is we want to go through every tile position, and if there is a drawable tile there, we want to draw it. So, for each tile position, so we scroll through the the X, scroll through the Y. Um, if the tile if the, the layer position doesn't equal zero, then obviously that means there's a, ta a drawable tile. Then we want to get the tile sheet bounds so that the correct tile is drawn. So from that rectangle list, we want to get our specific tile from that. So bounds equals tile set tile layer one dot layer. So we want to we want to just decrease that by uh, one because. Um, our tile set starts at zero and after that we just want to draw so we draw the, the tile sheet which it will be there we'll, we'll declare that in the next bit um, then we want to we want to draw it at a position that is uh, y uh, from here minus the draw offset dot x um, times tile width and x minus draw offset dot y so that's the tile set so that's just the way it works now we want to get bounds is the bounding rectangle for our texture and color dot white is just draw a normal color then what we want to do is draw the player so we we'll just call the, the players draw function All right that's good the next thing we want to do is we just want to draw the second tile layer after the player so that it, we can give the illusion of the player walking under things so we'll just change everywhere to just tile layer 1 tile, change that to tile layer 2 ok this looks good to me great so I'm going to compile this here. It won't compile because we haven't declared the tile sheet yet. So, yeah. But that's our only errors. So, in the next video, we're just going to finish this up. We're going to work on our game one class, and I'll be you ready to get started.